Hello, my name is Alejandro Lozano. Currently, I belong to the Applied Chemistry Research Center. This place is located in the city of Saltillo, Coahuila, in north of Mexico. Saltillo is a highly industrialized city, but it's also very safe, quiet, and with a good quality of life. Since the industries are far from the city, in general, there is a serious water problem in Mexico ranging from the distribution, scarcity, and water treatment. Therefore, developing the research topics on the subject of water is very relevant for Mexico. My research is direct to design, preparation, and application of composite materials applied to water treatment. In this slide, we can visualize the process of preparing polymeric fibers using the electrospinning technique. The electrospinning technique has a very simple setup Basically, the equipment consists of a syringe connected to a needle, an energy source that supplies charge to the system that causes the ejection of a jet of polymeric current, a collector that can be flat or rotating where the fibers and material are deposited. How these elements came together and were in it is a complex and various forces interact, such as Columbus forces and electrostatic repulsion of charge. The ring exerts pressure on the polymeric solution to be ejected in a controlled manner. The power source supplies electrical charge to the solution, breaking the surface tension of the liquid, and that's been able to be subsequently elongated in the form of fibers, which are deposited in the collector, the which is located at a center distance from the needle. In the fiber formation process, the solvent evaporates while the polymer jet flows in the direction of the electric field towards the fiber collector plate. The main parameters to control the electrospinning process are the concentration of the polymer in the precursor solution, the voltage, the flow, the distance from the collector, and something very important is to control the relative humidity. The main advantage of this technique are the easy configuration of the equipment, high speed of the fiber production, low cost of the process, high versatility that allows control of the fiber diameter and microstructure in a wide range of materials. In this research work, the coaxial electrospinning technique was used to develop composite membranes based on micrometric fibers of polyacrylonitrile butadiene estrogen polyacrylonitrile loaded with zinoxide nanoparticles in order to evaluate its efficiency in the photoreduction of chrome ions in aqueous solution. The morphological analysis of the fibers was performed by scanning electron microscopy. The chemical composition of the materials was determined by Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy. The crystallinity of the nanoparticles in the fibrous material were analyzed by X-ray diffraction and the reduction concentration of chrome was measured by the nesterization method. For the preparation of composite coaxial fibers, ABS pump with zinoxide nanoparticles, first precursion solution of ABS pump in DMF were prepared at the concentration of 35 in 6% mass volume under various steering for 24 hours at 25 degrees Celsius. The resulting solution were electrospun under the following conditions. Flow rate of 1 ml per hour, applied voltage of 18 kV, and nozzle collector distance of 20 cm. The eject material from the nozzle was collected in the flat aluminum collector. The preparation of the precursor solution for obtaining the composite AB span with zinoxide nanoparticles coaxial fibers was carried out by dispersing the necessary amounts of the previous synthesized zinoxide nanoparticles to obtain 15, 25, and 30% by weight with respect to the polymers, maintaining the protocol of dissolution of the precursor solutions. To evaluate the photoreduction capacity of chrome, a stock solution of chrome at 50 mg per liter was prepared by dissolving the appropriate amount of potassium dichromate in distilled water. 
the initial pH was adjusted to 2 by adding an aqueous solution of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid. This pH adjustment was necessary since the absorption capacity of chrome 6 on zinc oxide increased in acid environment as a consequence of the reduction of the electrical repulsion between the chromium species and the zinc oxide surface. Once the chrome's percussion solution were prepared, the ABS pump or ABS pan with zinc oxide and particles, electrospun coaxial composite membranes obtained were clamped on the Teflon frame and then immersed in the potassium dichromate solution. The system was subject to UV radiation, white blend at 240 nanometers, potential 125 watts per square meter for 8 hours at 25 degrees Celsius, pH at 2 and under the steering at 200 revolutions per minute. Subsequently, aliquots of the solution were analyzed by UV spectroscopy to determine the absorbance at 540 nanometers and subsequently estimate the concentration of chrome ions using the nestlerization method according to the standard methods for water analysis. Additionally, the photoreduction of chrome can be described by a kinetic model of set the first order of reaction according to the equation 1 where K is the pseudo first order rate of reaction constant per unit of time. C is the concentration of chrome in aqueous solution. T is the reaction time and R is the reaction rate. In addition, the efficiency of the photocatalytic reduction of chrome was quantified using equation 2. This section shows the results obtained. X-ray diffraction patterns are shown in figure A. The maximum diffraction are characteristic of zinc oxide. In addition, the diffractorums of the composite fibers show a crystalline peak at 2 theta at 70.3 degrees from the reflection of the 110 plane, which corresponds to orthorhombic packing of the AB's palm polymers in the fibers obtained. In agreement with this, it is observed that the polar planes of the zinc oxide nanoparticles present on the surface of ABS pan fibers with zinc oxide nanoparticles facilitate the formation of oxygen vacancies that favor photocatalytic reactions. However, the rarity of the polar planes of zinc oxide nanoparticles in ABS pan composites with nanoparticles is lower compared to nanoparticles indicating a possible reduction in the photocatalytic activity of zinc oxide within the corresponding composite, where PAN can behave as a barrier to the photocatalytic activity of zinc oxide nanoparticles. The results of the microscope image of figure B demonstrate that zinc oxide nanoparticles have a quasi-spherical morphology with an average particle diameter of 11 nanometers. All systems of fiber except uniform morphology and rough surface and the average diameter of the fiber show a decrease in their average diameter from 1.1 micrometers to 500, 300 and 200 nanometers. This to when increasing the zinc oxide nanoparticles concentration from 0, 15, 25 to 30 weight percent respectively. Regarding the coaxial morphology of the fibers and zinc oxide nanoparticles distribution, also show the microscopy micrograph of the cross section of AB spun zinc oxide nanoparticles fiber at 15 weight percent oxide nanoparticles, where it can be evidenced a thin layer of band surrounding the ABS core, this demonstrating the coaxiality of the morphology. The infrared analysis spectra of the system fibers of the figure C results show that the electrospin process does not modify the chemical structure of the steering materials. So the internal ABC layer and the external pulp layer present the common bands belonging to the functional groups for both polymers. The incorporation of nanoparticles to the polymer composite fiber produced very small difference in wave numbers in the infrared spectral analysis. However, the intensities decrease slightly with respect to the pristine zinc oxide nanoparticles, 
from which it could be inferred that the interaction between the sinoxine nanoparticles and the ABS pump matrix is physical and not chemical. The results of photocatalytics show that the concentration of sinoxine nanoparticles in the polymeric membrane increased. The efficiency of reduction of chrome also increased, reaching values of 22.99, 72.62, and 81.59% of concentrations of sinoxine nanoparticles, 15, 25, and 30 weight percent, respectively. This is for a solution containing 50 mg per liter of chrome. This increase can be attributed to the fact that there is a greater amount of sinoxine nanoparticles exposed on the surface of the membrane, and therefore there are more active sites of the photocatalytic precursor, thus promoting a great performance. The membrane with a concentration of 30 weight percent of sinoxine nanoparticles except a better photocatalytic performance for all the chrome concentration evaluate. ABS pump with 30% sinoxine nanoparticles membrane show a decrease by approximately 30% in its removal efficiency. In the third reaction reuse cycle, this was probably caused by anchoring of chrome ions on the membrane surface. By means of the little spinning technique, it was possible to manufacture coaxial fibers based on AB spun with homogeneous morphology, wherein, in the case of fibers loaded with sinoxide, they are exposed in the cell. Also, through this technique, it was allowed to obtain AB spun with sinoxide nanoparticle composite coaxial fiber with concentration of 15, 25, and 30 percent of sinoxide nanoparticles, thereby favoring the increase of the dosage of the photocatalyst, obtaining efficiency values similar to those reported in the bibliography. The maximum efficiency of the such membrane was at 30% by weight of sinoxine nanoparticle with respect to the total solid, allowing a reduction of chrome up to 81.59% after 8 hours with a substrate concentration of 50 mg per liter. This result evidence that AB span with sinoxine nanoparticle fiber is a promising candidate for application related to environmental remediation such as water regeneration filters that's contributing partially to the development of sustainable technologies. Thanks for your attention.